don't be lazy you don't have to be competent or feel like you're ready just do it i have heard a lot of no's wow. but i've also heard yeses as yes, well it's... and if i didn't just apply or just put myself out there you i would never hear yes you. and i want to be a billionaire mm. <laughs> <laughs> you to be a billionaire. yes this lady made millions of naira from learning a high income skill from the tech industry j star films does video editing which is one of the high income skill that you can learn in 2023 and he can also teach you about video editing so let's see how this lady made this huge amount of money while still in school everybody out there welcome back to the channel i'm here with sayon she's a 500 level student and she did an amazing job hi i'm sayo i'm a software engineer and also a mechanical engineer how did you first get into tech industry okay so uh, i first learned about tech in like 2015 okay uh, my older cousin is a software engineer wow. so that was like this was like 2015 2016 and that was when i learned like the whole okay web development game development and all that i wasn't interested i just thought it was cool okay yes then uh in 100 level 200 level in my previous university mm -hmm. that's landmark university wow. yes uh i started having more friends that were into tech okay and i remember in 100 level a very good friend of mine got like a job mm -hmm. a remote job that was paying him like 700k then wow and this was like 2018 or so yeah or 2019 and i was very impressed i was like okay wow i mean you're doing what i can do mm -hmm. and you're being really productive with it you're building cool stuff yes but then i mean you're also getting really paid so i felt like motivated like okay i mean i'm not doing that much with my time aside school so this is something yeah. I can probably learn okay. myself. Yes, and this was uh, 2019. 2019. Yeah, then wow. 2020, the pandemic, there was okay. lockdown. Yeah. And I think that was when I was like, okay, there was this much free time. I think we were out of school for like six months okay. or thereabout. Yeah, and then this was when I felt like, okay, there's this time. I'm not doing anything. And then you yeah, to <laughs> Exactly. <free time. laughs> I can as well try to learn now. Yeah. So I tried, but I got bored because mm -hmm. it's not like... Um, development is easy or anything you have to be consistent you have to be willing to learn yeah. you make mistakes you get stuck so I think when learning I got stuck at one point I don't even remember what point it was but I just left it again okay. yes and then in 2021 okay. when I resumed uh, in Elisa Day fully okay. uh, yes that was when I decided that okay you know what I'm going to take this thing seriously okay okay what made you come to Elisa Day University uh nothing serious just the fact that they don't force religion on people yes because okay. where i was coming from it was a religious school, school and you they were really big on the whole christianity thing and yeah. then they forced you to go to church yeah. almost all the time, all the time. yes okay, that's what yes. okay, that's reason. so please continue <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh right so i came to Elisa and i felt like okay you know what now that i don't even have church to go to because i mean in my previous school i was probably giving like four five hours if not more Dedicated. to church yes wow. weekly so i was like okay i have free time in elisa day i mm -hmm. can be productive with that time aside mm -hmm. um classes and all that yes so and also there was this internship that my friend did during the pandemic in 2020 that i heard about okay. it's called the outreach internship okay. it's an open source internship okay. for yes so, uh, and it's global, it's remote, you can work from any country, anywhere. Wow. Yes, as long as you're selected as an intern. Okay. So, my friend was selected in 2020 and he told me about it. Okay. And I got interested. Then, uh, but I knew I wasn't really ready then, so I didn't bother about applying. Okay. Then in 2021, uh, I still hadn't taken tech seriously. Yes, like yes I was just taking courses, like tutorial courses and I'll stop. Okay. Tutorial courses and I'll okay, stop. Okay, but what type of tech is it? Is it web okay, I started with web development. Okay. Yes. So, uh, but at first, when I started, it wasn't fully web development. I'd learned C because I had to do a course in 200 level on C and C++ and all that. Okay. Yeah, but you know, these are not really um, languages that you learn and start doing obvious stuff so immediately like Com that. yes compared to like web development where the moment you learn to a certain point you can build a website so and show that see i built this, this yes okay. exactly okay. so um 
I decided to now stick fully with web development at least for a start. Yeah. Plus, when you go online, there's there's a lot of web development jobs, you know, front end engineer, back end yeah, engineer, yeah. blah yes. blah, all of that. Yes. yes. So it just seemed commercially smart, like economically smart to start with that. Okay. Yes. And that was what I did. Uh, like I remember I took like a course on free code camp. That was what I started with. Yeah. Then yes, this so in three hundred level, this was twenty twenty one. So I wanted to apply for that internship. So I just randomly applied. Meanwhile, I just started taking the web development courses seriously back again. Okay. Okay. Yes. But I wasn't really there, I was still a complete beginner. I could just do really basic stuff with it. Then I applied for this internship. And like I said, this is a global internship. So you have thousands of people applying. Okay. Okay. Yes. And they're all at different skill levels. So I felt like the initial stage was like an essay, which was something I felt I could do. Okay. Yes. Then uh but I did not I was not prepared for the contribution stage because you know it's open source. Yeah. Open how open source works is like you basically contribute for free to so like free software. Okay. Yes, free software is something anybody can I use. Do. Yes, I think you know the Mozilla Firefox browser, for example. Yeah. Yes, it's open source. So the the software, like the code of that software, is out there. Anybody can, can use it. it. Yes, okay. and anybody can add to it. Wow. Yes, that's the whole idea of open source. Okay. Yes. So um. I I decided and right so when I applied I got into the first stage of the internship mm -hmm. but the second stage had thousands of people there was about 60 projects and all wow. so I decided to go for a project that seemed easy, easy. Yes. <laughs> but obviously I'm not the only one with that idea there's thousands of people okay, they wanted to go for that easy yes one. so okay. uh, no that basically applied so I think for that easy one it was like hundreds of people okay. and they were just going to select one person one yes just one person <laughs> So, so I mean, you're super lucky too. I did. I was not selected. Oh, I've not got to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I look at that. I mean, it's not about just luck. You also have to be competent to some extent. Wow. And at that point, I was not competent. You just take it like it's just kind of tutorial or something. Let yeah, I feel. I feel like okay, I've learned something small. Let, let me throw try. myself out okay. there. Yeah, exactly. So I was not competent. So I was not chosen. Mm -hmm. But it kind of gave me motivation to now go and be competent. Yes. Yeah. That was that was I think that was one of my biggest motivation was like okay shit I have to get serious now wow. yes so the internship is twice a year mm -hmm. it starts uh, there's the the May to August um, one and the, the um, application start in February and okay. that was the first one I applied to second one the application started in August okay. yes so I mean I knew I didn't get in around April. But so from like April, and I made up my mind that, okay, I'm going to apply for the August one. So I took it very serious. I mean, I was spending like maybe six, seven hours per day just wow, learning. Just to, yes. Wow. And doing so because I really wanted to learn enough in time for August. Yeah. Yes. And this was in April. Yeah. So I, I think I just had about three, four months there about. Okay. Yeah. So I, I took it very serious. By July, I was already doing cool stuff. I was building really nice websites, yeah. blah, blah, all of that. Yeah. But I still felt like I wasn't really there. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But, you know, I still, I felt motivated. Like, okay, see what I'm doing. This is really cool. Yes. And, uh, right. Then I decided to... When I applied in August, okay. so the August application, you just apply. Then it takes like one month for you to hear back. Yes. So that one month to hear back was still enough time for me for to still to be, still keep preparing. Yes. Yeah. Then okay. I heard back like ending of September or early October. Yeah, there about took a month. Okay. Yes. That, okay, I've been selected for the second stage. That's where you now actually have to code mm -hmm. again. Yeah, wow. to contribute to open source. Yeah, so this was October. And I mean, from April to October, I'd already learned considerably learned. enough. Yes. yes. But then, like I said, there's thousands of people. Consistent, maybe five hours, six hours. Consistent. It wasn't every, every, every day. day. Like, when I started, mm. I was doing, like, five, six hours. But when I started building really? stuff, I feel yeah. like, okay, okay, I calmed down so much. <laughs> like, okay, I've gotten okay. somewhere. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But I was still spending hours. Okay. It, depend it depended on how much time. I Because remember, I was still in school. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, it depended on how yeah. much time I had to spare. And, yes. So, I think August was when we finished writing second semester examinations. Okay. And then I went home and that was when I applied for that. Uh, so, like, August to October, we were home. Mm -hmm. And, um, yes, I think we resumed in November. Yeah, it's November. November yes, yeah. we resumed. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, all that time I was home. So, okay. I had more time to... Okay. Yes, yeah, so I think I increased my hours back again that I was to putting... To yourself again. Yes, exactly. Okay. So, uh... 
when I applied and I got into the second stage, uh, I um, right there was thousands of people, and one thing that everybody that starts or most people it's very self-taught developers when they start and like they want to learn tech they okay. mostly start with web development yeah, yeah, because it's super simple yeah. and not like it's simple okay. it's accessible okay. and like i said it's visible you can see your work okay yeah you can show your work more easily mm-hmm. than doing something maybe back end or yeah, doing front something end. no front end is very visible okay. yeah back end you work with servers it's still fairly visible but compared to working on systems like C, maybe you're doing embedded systems or you're doing this or you're doing that. Yeah, it's harder to show. Okay. Yes, especially remote. Except maybe you're going to an office, you're working from office, but if you want to work remote, those type of things are harder to show. Yeah, yeah. Yes, exactly. So I think that's one of the reasons why people it's tend strange, to start yeah, with web see. development. Okay. So what are your biggest challenges so far when all this journey? My biggest okay. challenge was time okay. with school. Because, I mean, to some point, I, I struggle with procrastination. Yeah. Yes. And I'm also, I, I, I think I can be lazy sometimes. <laughs> so, you know, to actually now find the time and the energy to still do, do things. Yes, do. exactly. Especially when there's school. Like, it's easy to say, you know what, I'll just put this in aside and after school, it I'll pick it up. Easy. Yes, when I have time. But okay. So, it took a lot for me to, you know, actually say, no, you know what, let me do this thing. Wow. Yes, with school. So yeah. I think that was my biggest challenge, struggling with school and, you know, learning to code on the side. Especially since I I'm not a computer science student. Yes. I'm a mechanical and engineer. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, coding like exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. So, and mechanical engineer, engineering, it's a very hard course. So trying to do mechanical engineering and, you and know, perform well in school. Like, I'm not trying to fill my courses or anything. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And still doing, like, computer um, programming mm-hmm. on the side. Yeah. Nice. So it was a big struggle. Yeah. So what specific skill do you believe that played a very specific role that keeps you going um okay i think it is the fact that it's two skills yeah so one is like a technical skill or camel it's the language i use with now that has been a very um like I, I got my my first job. The internship I had was with Okamo. My okay. second job was with Okamo. Okay. So learning it was it really put me to a it, it put me on top in a way because yeah. I was able to you know get a job and all that. Yeah. And the second thing so I that think, led to your success. Yes, one of it. Yeah. Yes, and then the second thing is also you know just it does you don't have to be competent or feel like you're ready just do it, do it. yes wow. so i think it's something so don't i be ready just yes do just do it, it. it's you something get ready along the day. <laughs> exactly okay. and it's something that i i do a lot yeah. sometimes i feel like oh shit i'm not ready for this one. i'm not competent i just apply or i just put myself i just volunteer it doesn't like i i do any yeah and it always now comes with or it leads me to more opportunities yeah. and it's something that that's really helped so whenever even when my friends are like oh but i think i'm going to apply for this thing next year when i feel like i'm like just do it just yeah, do it. <laughs> you know the worst you can hear is no and i have heard a lot of no's yeah. but i've also heard yeses as yes, well yes. and if i didn't just apply or just put myself out there you i would never hear the yes i mean i think i've even heard more no's than yeses but the yeses were enough to make a difference Wow. Yes. Wow. So how do you manage your time in university? Okay. Um, so what I do is, uh, aside classes, okay. I, at least at first, like in my 300, 400, I didn't do any other extracurriculars. Okay. Aside classes. So you don't really see me outside interacting mm. with friends and all of that. Okay. Like aside classes. And I mean, that's not necessarily a good thing. Yes. Yes. And I realized that in 500 and that's why I decided to put myself out there. Okay. And that's also one of the things that motivated me to found GDSC. Okay. Study because yeah. I was like, okay, no, there should be a community. I should be more social. I okay. should be more interactive. So what is the formula of the GDSC? Google Developers Student Club. Okay. Really so what do you see as a future? in tech industry um right now artificial intelligence and okay. i mean yes you can see if you've used or you've heard of like chat gpt or okay. google bad and so many other artificial intelligence tools people mm. are building really cool stuff for wow. yes and i think it's i mean the world is digital okay. and as time goes by it will okay. keep getting more and more digital mm. a lot more things will get automated okay. yes and you know artificial intelligence will play a very very massive Okay. In that. Sometimes when I think of my future, I think of it in two ways. I think okay. of it Africa-based and I think of it globally. Because okay. um, 
obviously africa is not exactly where a lot more western countries are technologically okay yes so mm. So I think, okay, I want to build for Africa. Okay. Then right. I also want to build globally. Okay. Yes. So, I mean, even, I don't even think we have things like internet resolved completely yes. because, I mean, you still have very slow internet and that's, I feel like I mean, there's still slow electricity. Yes. Or rather, there's still like uh, blackouts. There's no electricity. There's yes. slow internet. Yes. yes. And these are one of the basic things at least that technology requires to grow. Yes. Yes. So sometimes I think of, I try to think of ways I mean, I've not figured it out completely, okay. but I try to think of ways where, you know, in an Africa sense, to give this certain things or build this certain things that, you know, will put us to other Western countries, you know, okay. on the same, uh, on the same line. Yes, exactly. The same line. Okay. So what advice do you have for your fellow students or other people who are intending to go into tech? Don't be lazy. Okay, don't be lazy. Wow, <laughs> that's very nice. So now, someone who's already inside the tech already, that, okay, I already know coding, I already know front end. so how can the person get a job online or how um, can the person have a link to something? Like I said, app? put yourself out there, you okay. know. Go on Twitter, go on LinkedIn. Mm. Um, there's a lot of websites where there's okay. remote jobs, you know. Oh. Like, just use the internet. It's there for you. Wow. Okay, Sayo, what keeps you motivated? Um... Two things, actually. Okay. I want to get to the top of my career. Okay. And I want to be a billionaire. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be a billionaire? Yes. Wow. So those two things. Wow. That's what keeps you... Every time you wake up... I'm like, like, I have to be competent. I have to build myself. I have to be better. Wow. Yes. So you have, you have to add value to the exactly. world. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So where can we find you? In. Uh, so you can find me on LinkedIn, okay. Sayobam Ibade, and you can also find me on Twitter at Sayobam. Wow! So anybody watching this channel right now, can he uh, or he can he or she ask you a question when he or she follows you? Yeah, of course. Just send me a DM. I respond to all my DMs on Twitter. So wow. just so guys, me. if you need to, or connect with me on LinkedIn. Yeah. Anyone. So guys, if you need to, you know, need money, you know, we are in school, so. Just pack it, just pull it up, get it. So, Sarah, thank you for having me. I really appreciate you for coming here today. I really appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you.